Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 4th of March. And not surprisingly, after one of the most disastrous tax hiking budgets ever, the stock market is a little bit on the back foot, so not too many situations. Uh, I interviewed uh, Cellular Goods yesterday. Nice to see there's a little bit of a glimmer here in terms of the shares trying to turn around after the uh, falls of recent days. I still need to break 12, 12 and a half pence, obviously yesterday's resistance, but just the chance now that we might get a, a break back above the 200 period uh, moving average here on the five minute chart and that might start the turnaround for the shares. I think the point that uh, the company hasn't made properly is that it actually has uh, synthetic uh, cannabis uh, oil and I think that is actually uh, decent USP but uh, I think they need to say that a bit more loudly in order to get the message through otherwise it just sounds like another CBD company. One of the uh, few rising uh, situations of the recent past is uh, Clear Leisure. Here we've got uh, a nice uh, sort of retesting the uh, recent three pence resistance area. End of day close through three pence uh, could or should be enough to deliver a fresh leg to the upside up towards uh, six pence in the top of the January trend channel. At this stage only back below I suppose uh, uh, former resistance on the way up around uh, 1.9 to 2 pence really delaying the upside scenario but uh, ideally there's not even any uh, break back below the uh, initial March uh, support here at around uh, the 2.2 pence level. A stock which has uh, come through has been been uh, in the uh, in our sights over the last few days, but Futura Medical giving a decent push in terms of the gap higher today. Gaps higher through resistance tend to be pretty solid signals. We want to see an end of day close above uh, the February peak at 21 pence. If we can get that over the next few sessions, or ideally on a weekly close basis, then we could expect or anticipate further decent upside. Just how much the upside could be is suggested by the resistance line projection I'm just drawing at the moment. So possibly up to 31, 32 pence over the next few weeks uh, if we can clear 21 pence relatively quickly. Stop loss at the moment back below the initial March peak at 17 and a half pence. A uh, bit of activity in uh, Mountfield uh, Group. Uh, here you can see that uh, shares right on the uh, uh, support line there from June. Uh, that runs through the October low and then uh, today's low to date is at a quarter of a penny. So uh, we've got that sort of 0 0.2, 0.25 area as a notional support. RSI back down there at 13 out of 100, which is very, very low. And normally uh, a stock will or a market will rebound from that. We had a similar type of setup there at the end of uh, June and uh, the shares uh, doubled or tripled from that particular low. So hoping that uh, we'll get a decent uh, uh, rebound from this level. Uh, an end of day close back above uh, 0.31 would be the first signal uh, that we've got a bear trap here and obviously uh, a break of the main resistance line there at 0.6 pence could give us a potential top of broadening triangle from June target at 1.3 but obviously all of that long way away you need to hold above 0.31 pence first for Mountfield. Stock which was uh, brought to my attention earlier this morning but Unfortunately, by the time I've uh, been able to chart it, it's already gone up a lot. Uh, Plutus Powergen, uh, here we've had the break of the late February resistance there at uh, 0 0.04 pence. And above that, looking for a top of May price channel, May last uh, price channel as high as 0.14 or 0.15 as soon as the end of next month. Of course, it's on the shares, which uh, maybe you might still be. Uh, you wait for an end of day close above last month's intraday peak at 0 0.055 so let's see if uh, that is delivered as well as the break above the 200 day moving average around the same level on to a stock which uh, is one of today's rises one of the few uh, sort of solid looking situations uh, here we've got savannah resources which has found support above old resistance uh, it implies that we're in a rising trend channel uh, of the configuration i'm just about to draw so something like that uh, floor of the channel around four and a half pence and uh, while we're above four and a half uh, looking for seven pence at the top of the uh, late July trend channel uh, if you were looking for a momentum trigger here then maybe wait for an end of day close above 4.8 pence uh, which is the initial March peak for the shares stop loss back below four pence is probably the best at this stage uh, Tulu Energy, a situation which has taken a long time to get off the ground and be uh, properly bullish but we've got a nice 
bull flag here above resistance over recent days and uh, the longer we stay above today's intraday low at 3.9 pence the greater the chance of a move towards at least five and a half pence at the top of the rising september trend channel and that could be seen as soon as the end of this month uh, a blatantly solid looking chart here coming up now with transcends uh, technology uh, here you can see that uh, we will be able to see that uh, the shares have uh, a gap through resistance in the middle of last month so that was through 60 pence uh, we had a, a gap down but that was filled so gap reversal which is uh, another very positive sign and uh, an end of day close today above yet, uh, last month's intraday peak at 78 pence should be easily enough to go, give us a 100 pence target at the top of the uh, rising trend channel from February last year in fact might dare to uh, upgrade that uh, target to uh, towards the uh, the one pound 20 area which would be uh, a line of resistance from uh, that old November 2019 peak so that makes reasonable sense especially with this uh, beautiful hook we've got here handle uh, formation that we've got here as well so uh, above 78 up to one pound 20 as high as one pound 20 for transcends as soon as the end of next month um, a stock which i missed totally on its first uh, push to the upside was uh, tasty but uh, uh, there may be still plenty to shoot for here in the sense that we had um, a gap through resistance at the beginning of last month at four pence and that tends to uh, suggest a multi-bagger move we've had another gap to start this month as well today which is uh, pretty impressive through six pence the view is that while we're above the initial march floor at five pence we could head as high uh, head up as high as 13 or 14 pence at the top of a rising trend channel from the early part of 2019 time frame on that the next one to two months or so maybe going into may for that particular target we had a um, request for the next stock which uh, i believe changed its ticker code which uh, rather fooled me but uh, uh, here we've got a situation where we've had uh, uh, a vertical move here for uh, virtue capital and uh, rather difficult to come up with any uh, meaningful target here probably the best that one can say at this stage is that uh, uh, while we're above uh, the uh, halfway of today's range halfway point of today's range which is uh, basically around two and a half pence we can see further upside uh, it looks as though uh, we're in a we're in a tr uh, channel which could head up towards the five and a half pence level so basically above two and a half up to five and a half but uh, really uh, rather difficult to chart a, a vertical spike uh, finishing off with a stock which I know has frustrated people for uh, the longest time, Westminster Group. And uh, although I think the price action seems uh, particularly soggy and horrible, uh, it is actually in theory, uh, we are in theory in the, in the uh, middle of or within a, uh, a, a falling wedge, which is a bullish formation. And uh, as little as an end of day close above or a weekly close above the 50 day moving average on the top of the wedge at four and a quarter pence, could be the event that unleashes a move towards that December resistance line uh, projection at five and a half pence. But uh, uh, as, as I said, uh, this does look like a rather bleak situation. No really need to rush in, uh, but uh, a break of four and a quarter could be the trigger that uh, bulls are looking for on that situation. That's it for me today. Hopefully more excitement tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.